All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have three TTMs for you on this Monday. But before we get to the TTMs, I do want to remind everybody that you do have three days to do your video response for my three year on YouTube giveaway. So let's get started with the first one. And it comes from Mr. Cavalier, Austin Carr, also known as Notre Dame legend, Austin Carr. He became Notre Dame's all time leading scorer without ever hitting a three pointer. Because they didn't have the three-point line. He scored over 2,500 points at Notre Dame. Became just the second player in NCAA history amongst the Division I to score over 1,000 points. The first being Pistol Pete. Austin Carr uh, was one of the was the second men's basketball player at Notre Dame to have his name put into the Ring of Honor in 2011. So a Notre Dame great. Still lives in Cleveland. And he is a free TTM. My next TTM comes from Notre Dame legend Bob Gladio. He had just a very brief NFL career. Played four seasons between Buffalo and New England. But he is probably more well known amongst the Notre Dame people. Uh, for scoring the lone touchdown for the Irish in the game of the century in 1966 against Michigan State. Notre Dame tied the game at 10 all and ran out the clock the rest of the game and went on to win the national championship. But, beside all that about Bob Gladio, back in 1992 in that 1990 collegiate collection card, I got that autographed. And I he lived in South Bend and I went to his uh, travel agency. You know, they had those back in the day. And he took... If I remember right, 30, 45 minutes just to chat with me and, and hang out with me. I was uh, 10 years old at the time. I, had, I hadn't had my 11th birthday yet. And I mentioned that in my letter that I had met him prior and that he was, he was really nice to me and that he, he took the time to just chat with me and hang out with me for a few. And he wrote back and... I don't honestly don't remember if or don't know if he actually remembered, but he, you know, he talked about it back in his letter, you know, hanging out with me 30 years, you know, 30 years ago. And so I just thought that was really cool. Uh, next correspondence that I had with Bob Gladio and just a super nice guy, 75 years old. Both Austin Carr and Bob Gladio are around the same age. And my final TTM was a shot in the dark, just a hope and a prayer. Uh, Dustin from Dustin and Blake some time ago made a video about, hey, instead of hitting all the low-hanging fr fruit on your TTMs, try just try somebody. Uh, try a Hall of Famer. See what, what you can get. The worst they can say is no or not return your card. And that's what I did with Dan Hampton. Um, I, he was only a 60% return rate. And I, I looked up his address in, in Indiana and found it. And I sent it. Not, not knowing if I was actually ever going to get a return. So I, I saw this Bears team leader, or I had this Bears team leader's card and that uh, Pro Set Collector Books card book thing. I also had some other cards, but they were part of sets. And I said, well, if I never get it back, I don't want to have to rebuy cards for the sets that I already have. So I'll just send these two cards and hope for the best. And if I don't get them back, such is life. I, you know, they're not part of sets. And if I really want them, well, I'll find them again, I'm sure. If not, whatever. So... Less than 20 days later, I got mail from Jacksonville, Florida, which confused me because I didn't remember sending anything to from to that area. And I opened it up and I was like, oh my word, Dan Hampton returned my cards. I was shocked and in my celebration, I took a picture and immediately uh, sent it to Michael Myers and, and was just like, wow, I can't believe that I got a Hall of Famer back. And it was free. It was crazy. Uh, does look like he, he has a window right now. So if you want to take that chance and send to Dan Hampton, it's open. I'm not sure how long that, that window is going to stay open because he does not have a high return rate. 
So that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.